everyone, it's DJ and this is my February, March, and April wrap up. It's a lot. Oh. So in the month of February as well as in March, I only read one book each for each month. Uh, so not big reading months as far as February and March go because it's only two books total. Um, but April was a really really good reading month for me. Plus I participated in the Owls Readathon which was so much fun because like it just it was so much fun! It was just stepping outside of myself and my comfort zone and and also just doing something that is really creative and inventive and thank you so much Book Roast for creating this because it's so awesome and now we get a couple months off, maybe a month or so. I, I'm not sure what when it's gonna happen but be on the lookout for the newts because they will be happening relatively soon and so that's gonna be so much fun and I cannot wait I'm so excited but let's dive right in to see what I read these past three months so for the month of February it wasn't that good of a reading month I only read one book and that was Challenge Accepted by Amanda Abram. And I gave this one a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, but I think I rounded it up from a 3.5. It just, to, com to be completely honest, because I am filming this video in April, I honestly don't remember much about this book, except for that I remember it was like really super cute. That's all about, that's about all I remember about it. I don't recall like, plot details or anything like that and I don't think it was a memorable book which might be the reason why I'm kind of bumping it down a little bit was is just I don't remember it much um, which is kind of disappointing because I'm, uh, I don't know it's just disappointing when I don't remember books even though I really love the super cute like contemporary books but I just don't remember this one very much and that's kind of disappointing so for March, again, another disappointing reading month in terms of the fact that I only read one book, but I started this one in January and I finished it in March and I finished it a part of the Emojiathon, which <laughs> Emojiathon was super disappointing because I only read one book um, and just a lot of stuff caught up with me and I was just super tired after work after every single day that just reading was just not my priority at that point so but I'm really glad that I did read what I read and it was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab and I really liked this one I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5 stars guaranteed um I remember so much of it even now and I really liked this one because to me it felt like it was a really good foundational first book so it really I and I haven't read the other two so I'm really hoping that I'm right in saying this but I really think that this laid down such great groundwork as far as the word book as far as world building goes, like I really really enjoyed this world, I should say worlds because it was the four Londons, but I really really enjoyed this one and I really liked the characters. Lila and Cal were so awesome and you got some really great characterization out of them and some really enjoyable intense meaty stuff going on. Um, especially with the white London and the um, twins were crazy. Um, so I really did enjoy this one and I'm really glad that I read it. So now we are getting into the month of 
April, which was such a great reading month for me, such a redemption from February and March that I'm just like, yay, I finally got to read books. And so this was really, really fun because it was also the month with the Owls a thon. Owls read a thon, I should say. And this was so much fun. But before we get into the Owls Readathon. I did read one book before I finished it on April 1st. So I did read it before the Owls Thon and Owls Readathon. And that was The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. This one I, I wanted this one so much and I'm so glad that I did get it when I got it. Um it's just such a it's so it's so cute and there's like the contemporary I love the contemporary when it's really cute but there's so much more to this because it deals with grief in many different forms and it really it put into perspective like the griefy the grieving process that it's something that you don't really ever get over um it's something that yes therapy and everything and seeing somebody who wants to help you is definitely a step in the right direction but at the same time it's it's just it's such an interesting take on grief and the fact that it's not they're not saying that meeting a boy is going to help you get over your grief it's saying meeting a friend will help you in the process. So I really liked how Rin was just like, I go to these therapy sessions, but I'm not going to reveal everything because this is dumb. I don't want to get over the fact that I, they say I'm going through survivor's grief. Like, well, duh. Like, so it's just, it's it's a really really nice take on grief and that process and how yes meeting somebody specifically a girl meeting a boy or boy meeting a girl helps in that process but it's not the defining of oh i meet a boy i'm gonna suddenly get over that my best friend's dead like that's not how that works that's not how humans work so this is such a great characterization of of grief in a human being there's a grieving process that everybody has to go through and there's some people who are never really ever going to get over their grief and that's okay because they make strides towards not getting over the grief but processing it and saying you know what i'm going to see the grief and take it for what it's worth and move on with my life because I need to not stand still because I need to move. I need to get on that moving sidewalk and move. Like I can't just stand still and that's not how life works. And so I'm, I was really, really thrilled with this one because this was my fir first Jessica Birdie book and I have a couple of hers and I'm really really excited about reading her stuff because I really I, I really enjoyed this one and her other books sound super super adorable so I really am glad I started with this one um because it's such a pretty cover too so I'm really excited and I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5 stars Hi everyone, uh, so sorry that it's kind of weird transition here. Um, so as I was, as I'm editing this video, I'm realizing that it is really long. It is verging on like 44 minutes and that to me is like really, really long. So I decided to split this up into two different videos. Um, and because I was not planning on this being split up while I was filming the videos, I have no kind of outro of this one so um so I do apologize about the weird transition here um but yeah so uh this is part one of the um wrap up so this is February March and 
part one of April and then my part two is going to be for the Owls Readathon wrap up. Um, so I do apologize again because it's kind of weird and I know and I, I, I apologize so profusely but I figure that this weird kind of transition would be better than you sitting through 45 minutes of me trying to explain books. So um, there is a part two that is going to be followed by this part and yeah so um, that is all I have to say and I again I apologize for this because when I was explaining these books, it wasn't, it didn't feel like it was that long, but I guess it was. So, <laughs> again, um, there's going to be a part one, or this is part one, and the the next video is going to be part two. So, hopefully that can be, com that can come across in the, um, my description box, but if it's not, I do apologize again. And so, yeah. So don't forget to like this video and comment down below and let me know about the books you read in February and March, even though it's May. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so don't forget to subscribe to my video. You can hit the button that is right up there. You can also check out my latest video and also uh, all of my other uh, wrap up videos plus the part two of this part one. So. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always until next time happy reading bye guys